journey started almost 10 years ago. And we worked along with GNBS from the inception. Several consultants with training, several staff after. Today we are here. Um, project. I beg Dr. Richards, please, Guyana needs this. We need to have an accredited certificate for what it will do for us, for Guyana's rice, for the rice industry. Because once we give our certificate, we want people to be comfortable to, be, to know that the certificate says what the product is. You could have seen the drive in the GRDB that they wanted to achieve this distinction. But at the time, we did not know that they were going to be the first to achieve this distinction. And I must join in congratulating them warmly. I know that we had a part to play, and I am particularly happy because local companies will now believe that you have a local body that can guide you through the process. The Jamaica National Agency for Accreditation, we are absolutely ecstatic. <laughs> because this is a first for us. We celebrate this accreditation award ceremony because for Janak, we have a vision of being the leading provider of internationally recognized accreditation services to the region. And this accreditation, this first regional accreditation for us is the launching pad for the work that Janak wants to do in the region. So we celebrate the fact that the Central Laboratory has demonstrated their conformance to the requirements of the ISO IEC 17025 standard for their food testing scope. And as you know for accreditation, accreditation simply is a recognition that the CAB is able to deliver on their promise to their customers. Some years ago, I was checking the file, it's since around 2009, where the lab gained its certification in July of 2011. And ever since then, we have been working closely with the Guyana Rights Development Board. And I'm very and as pleased, it, and I, I can say that accreditation is our benchmark, where we can say that the requirements that the laboratories are implementing at a national level, we can see it's just a few steps away from accreditation. And I would encourage all the laboratories in Guyana to take up that. Allow me, firstly, before I begin, to bring you greetings on behalf of the Caribbean Development Bank, who could not make it here this afternoon. The Caribbean Development Bank wishes to extend congratulations to the Guyana Rice Development Board and its central laboratory on this very important achievement. Agriculture and related activities are significant contributors to economic growth, social development and poverty reduction in many of the bank's borrowing member countries, especially here in Guyana, where it accounts for more than 20% of the GDP. It is therefore no coincidence that the bank's strategic approach to poverty reduction and inclusive growth places significant emphasis on supporting programs that aim to reinvigorate the agricultural sector, such as the accreditation of laboratories, thereby making it more resilient and more competitive. Accreditation means that the rice sector in Guyana now has access to internationally recognized, impartial and competent testing services. This is a significant milestone in the development of the value chain of the rice sector in Guyana. The CARICOM Regional Organization for Standards and Quality, CrossQ, extends its heartiest congratulations to the GRDB on the accreditation of its central laboratory for the scope of food testing. This achievement is a very historic milestone as it represents the first laboratory that has been accredited in Guyana. 
the first laboratory that the Guyana National Bureau of Standards, functioning as the Guyana National Accreditation Focal Point, has been able to assist towards achieving accreditation. The first laboratory that the Jamaica National Agency for Accreditation has accredited outside of Jamaica, and it's the first laboratory that has been accredited through the cross cure arrangement for the Caribbean Corporation of Accreditation Scheme. Please join me in congratulating the GRDB. The work of Ghana Rice Development Board continues and can only be exemplified with the achievement of the ISO IEC certification. It is a standard law of due, but something the industry will use to its advantage, all with the aim of improving services to satisfy our local and international commitments. It is the mandate of the government of Guyana to develop the rice industry, to attain its full potential, as well as promote the expansion of export trade. These are areas which we hope to significantly improve as being ISO, IEC certified to significantly boost the industry. Prior to, the cert to this certification, the Ghana Rice Development Board was tasked with sending samples for tests to the USA, which took roughly two weeks for results. Today, we no longer have to take this route. Being ISO certified is a useful tool which will add credibility by demonstrating that rice coming out of Guyana meets the expectations of our buyers. represents the, the first laboratory that has been accredited through the Regional Corporation, the Caribbean Corporation for Accreditation Scheme. And as Mr. Omar would have indicated, it really speaks volumes to regional integration and how much we can achieve when we pool our resources, when we work together as a team. And also um, single out DFID, who would have provided the financial support to facilitate the support and everything else that was provided to the project. I was asked to write in my report what I thought the success factors were in this whole process. And number one on top of that would have to be GRDB, starting from the management, coming right down to the staff of the lab, but of course, Alison and Marsha. You have to have the will in order to get accreditation. It's, it's not an easy process.